Today I'm in Boise, Idaho, attending the Reality Capture Network Conference 2023. I've just picked up my exhibit hall pass, so let's head inside and meet all the attendees here at RCN 2023. I'm also accompanied by my brother, Omar Tamimi. Hey, Omar, how's it going? Happy to be here. Good, good. <laughs> Look at this superstar right here. What's up, Dylan? What's up, man? Hey! How are you? Good, how are you? Good nice to see you. Again. We're heading backstage now to get mic'd up for our first session about serving. Baby costume. What's up? Look at that. Look at all these Lighting here is so much better. RCN 2023, please welcome your land surveying and reality capture panel. Uh, this is a panel that we've been asked to keep having year over year. I'm Rami Tamimi. I'm a PhD student at The Ohio State University studying surveying and geodetic engineering. And most of my research revolves around utilizing fundamental survey principles and incorporating with new geospatial technology. I think a uh, surveyor's predominant role is to make sure the data is not just a pretty picture. Um, we take a look at the analytical side of things and ensure that the numbers all match up to what exists in the reality of the world. Sometimes people get hung up on certain numbers saying, oh, well, based off of this math equation and based off of that math equation, and a surveyor is here to bring everything into reality and to show you that, hey, the evidence of the earth shows us that this is what it'd be. So I think that's what we are specialized in. Sure, it's going to be faster adoption. So there's the use of the latest greatest technology so that we can um, attract the younger, the younger generation, the younger kids, right? The, the gaming kids and the ones that have that AI in mind and, the, and the, uh, we have a couple at our office. I like what you did because you've encouraged someone who's young and ambitious to take a certain uh, interest that they have, whether that's AI or machine learning, and you've implemented it into your business, into your work, and you're going to be the one that reaps the benefits. Because this young and ambitious, we'll call him a surveyor, you know, this young ambitious surveyor is looking for new ways to solve old problems. I'm surveying a brass cat, and I use a five foot pole, or I use a one inch pole. The one inch pole is going to give me less error just from plumbing it up. I think the one thing that people misunderstand is that you can get some really accurate control, especially if you got a one inch pole. But if you fly a drone over it and then georeference that data, what do you need all that accuracy for? The drone's not even that accurate. Photogrammetry's not even that accurate. The data's going to assume the lowest accuracy sensor. Well, since we have a PhD here, you can probably <laughs> tell us about transportator uh, state plane coordinates and how accurate they really are. They'll look at us and say, I need something projected into state plane, but I need it within a hundredth of a foot. Well, I sit there and I explain to them, like geodetic coordinates, the, the method of collecting geodetic coordinates, you can't get a hundredth of a foot. That's where the education part comes in. I start to explain to them what kind of tools they need, what kind of systems they should be using in order to achieve the outcome that they're looking for. And sometimes you can achieve that outcome. You have to bring it back to reality. It, it all comes down to, you know, what the client's looking for and what can you provide for them. So we are going to wrap up. Thank you guys very much for joining. Goals I feel before the feet, the mighty the powerful king composing all yeah. to
So they're doing our happy hour here. Let's see what they've got. I'm gonna play cornhole against my arch nemesis. <laughs> Day two. All right, we are back day two of the RCN 2023 conference. How did you like day one? It was great. It was great. <laughs> Last night was pretty fun with their happy hour. So I'm excited to go into some sessions today, talk to some more people and see, uh, see what we can do on day two. Good morning. <laughs> Stage here. I'm going to be on another panel here today talking about social media, marketing, and kind of just where the serving and geospatial industry is headed uh, in terms of online presence. So yeah, should be should be fun. RCN 2023. Please welcome the panel discussing fresh marketing perspectives for innovators. I'm uh, Rami Tamimi. I'm a surveyor and geodetic engineer, and uh, I do online content on YouTube. We've got about 60,000 subscribers and four and a half million views on the channel. Um, happy to be here amongst great minds. You know, LinkedIn's a great tool to stay connected with people. Yeah. And I think it's more of a two way versus Rami, you're more of a one way with YouTube as well. LinkedIn does a very good job of connecting people that are looking for individuals. Like for example, Matt's looking for an architect in Boise. He can find that one person. With YouTube, I think the platform is really designed for, you know, I'm a content creator. I put something out for a large audience. Maybe when I go to a conference, more people recognize me than I recognize them. But as a content creator, I know that these are real people. I'm helping them and I am providing value to them. Quality versus quantity and consistency. Yeah, this, it's a very big one. Um, people are always gonna be looking for more content, right? They fall in love with the creator or the person that's posting. You know, they're gonna say, hey, you've got insight, you've got knowledge, make more, make more. And depending on the platform, you know, some platforms value quantity. Um, I believe LinkedIn is one of those platforms where you know you need to be posting consistently every single day with something new, some idea that you have. It might not be a full-on production. It could be just a one-minute video of you either talking about a concept or showing a data set. That could be enough to engage an audience. Instagram is very similar as well with those Instagram reels. TikTok, same thing with you know just short little videos. When we look at like YouTube though, YouTube is now at a stage where audience expects a full on production. You need to really articulate and script out everything you want to say. When it comes to quantity, can you produce content like that every single day? Perhaps you can. Uh, someone like me, I'm an individual, I work by myself, I maybe now have a marketing team helping me, I can make content once a week or once every two weeks, you know? So it all depends on a person's capabilities and how much they can put out. You guys that are more you know, into personal brands, content generators, how do you then engage other people to help generate content with you? Before I got into like the business side of it, I was giving content to my students. I was a TA at Ohio State teaching surveying to undergraduate students and so I was making the content for them first. And then when the entire community started watching, that's when I started getting, you know, hey, you know, brand deals. I wasn't even asking for it, but it came to me and I was able to give more to my audience with a backing from a sponsor. They provide us with equipment, they provide us with funding, they provide us with ideas for content to create for them. I feel like I feel like you, Matt, like I never want to ask anything of my audience um, because I have another resource that can provide funding to give more to the audience. I want to thank our audience, thank you panelists. So I said, please come and ask us questions, engage with us, either in person or online. So.
Thank you all. All right, thank you. So we're at Boise State University's football stadium. We're in the arenas, what is the show box? Look at the views from up here. <laughs> we gotta congregate a spot now. Yeah, find a table. No, no. This will be the influencer table, right? Or no, what was, Michael, what was your phrase? The brand ambassador table? Yeah, yeah that's what we'll call ourselves. I think one day when I grow up, I'll have a camera set up like yours. <laughs> oh, I know. I'll hire someone to film me at that point. Look at this thing, this is a beast. Very cool. You think you're gonna move to Idaho now? There's mountains here. There's mountains here? Something you've been missing in Michigan? So we're gonna head downstairs to the football field to take a group picture. This should be exciting. I love you, Phil! To <laughs> a race! Yes! Yeah. Oh my god! I'm gonna race. I know not Go for it. Go for it. But, okay, there, there will be, we will have a prize. Oh, we'll have a guess. prize. For you got this? Come on, Dylan, you got this. Start at the goal line. Go! Oh, man. Did you win? Yeah. Oh, good for you, man. Nice. I haven't really done well. <laughs> Good for you, man. Awesome. What's up, Russell? So when you win, are you gonna take me out to a nice fancy dinner? All right, so I like to hear. Where are your chips? Woo! I know. <laughs> Day three. Good morning, everybody. Day three at RCN 2023. Definitely getting ready to wrap up the conference today. But maybe we can uh, talk to a few more people and uh, sit in on a few more sessions, learn something new. So yeah, let's see how it goes. So Wing Tro's spokesperson, Kim Stock, with her safety orange <laughs> shoes. I love it. <laughs> I need to let my boss know that I just got a promotion. Uh, <laughs> yeah, if you like orange, then uh, I'm your oh. There you go. head over to the hall where Thomas and Michael Gula are going to be doing a presentation. RCN 2023 was amazing. Thank you Matt Bird and the entire Reality Capture Network team for putting on such an amazing event. We'll see you guys next year at RCN 2024.